Alrighty, welcome to another Axiom Aviation short. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ground effect. So there are a lot of different misconceptions about ground effect. I want to go ahead and clear that up. Um, even a lot of CFIs I know are unable to explain the correct way that ground effect works. So here are some of the misconceptions. Uh, it's believed to be a cushion of air. A lot of times people will say it occurs because of ground friction or they'll say that the airplane is actually compressing the air below it, causing more lift to occur when you're coming in real close for landing. So like I said before, there are a lot of CFIs, um, even CFIs out there, tons of students that really do not understand what ground effect is. And so they'll tell you one of these different misconceptions to kind of avoid you know, being able to explain it uh, precisely. So let's go ahead and get explain it precisely. So what really causes ground effect then? Before we uh, look into what really causes ground effect, we first need to understand uh, wingtip vortices. So wingtip vortices are a phenomenon that's caused by uh, Bernoulli's principle. So Bernoulli's principle states that the air traveling over the top of a wing, over the top of the curved surface of the wing, is actually traveling faster than the air that is underneath the wing. That creates a low pressure. Because the air above the wing is traveling faster than the air below the wing, we get a low pressure above the wing and a high pressure below the wing. What this means is that because there's a high pressure below the wing and a lower pressure above the wing, we get high pressure that's below the wing trying to flow toward the low pressure that is above the wing. So because this is happening, uh, well really what happens is that the wing is in the way. So the high pressure air below the wing is trying to flow to the low pressure air above the wing, but the wing is in the way. Except at the wing tips. Now what we're going to see here in this picture is that at the wing tips you can see that the high pressure air can actually flow out and around the wing tips up to the low pressure air and actually cause some drag by contacting the top side of the wing. So the high pressure air contacting the top of the wing, like I said before, it causes drag and it causes a reduction in lift. So this is what we have typically when we're flying. We're flying around and we're going to have this, this drag and this reduction in lift. But what happens when the plane gets within a wingspan distance from the ground? Then the wingtip vortices are actually blocked by the ground. So what you have is you have that high pressure air below that's still trying to flow up to the low pressure air above the wing, except for now, because the airplane is so close to the ground, the ground is actually blocking that high pressure air from flowing to the top of the wing. When this happens, this causes a sudden decrease in drag and an increase in lift. So that's why when your students get down uh, nice and low to the ground on landing, you know, you can experience what's called float or kind of a balloon effect because when you're down that close to the ground, you're losing drag and you're gaining lift. So they actually developed what are called winglets to combat this phenomenon. They're the, uh, like on jets, you can see them, they're the part of the wing that kind of stick up vertically at the end of the wing. And what that does is that blocks the wingtip vortices and it increases uh, speed and it also increases fuel efficiency. So check us out. See more at uh, flyaxiom.com.